Today we're talking about the hamstrings and how it relates to back pain. So the hamstrings originate right here on this bone at the bottom of the butt, and they go all the way to the knee. So when they tighten up and pull, they bend the knee. But the other important motion related to back pain is that when you squat or bend, these hamstrings need to have the flexibility to allow this pelvis to rotate. Because when they're too tight and they don't allow that rotation, we run into problems. So a normal squat would look like this. Good hamstring flexibility, spine doesn't move, pelvis is rotating, everything's beautiful. However, when the hamstrings are too tight, you get about halfway down and they're like, okay, we're done, have fun with the rest of that movement, but you still need to pick up whatever it is from the ground. So you bend from the low back. And you could see here, when I bend from the low back, look at all this gapping that's occurring through here. And that's what causes herniated discs, bulging discs, sciatica, etc. And so the truth about the hamstrings is that you can stretch them and loosen them up, allowing for normal flexibility and normal movement at the pelvis and spine. The misconception is once you have back pain, sciatica, just fired up hamstrings, that you can just stretch them to fix the hamstrings. But at that point, it's not a hamstring problem anymore. It's a back problem, and you would probably need that assessed to fix it. So I hope that helps you understand the role of the hamstrings in back pain and sciatica and try to put that information to use.